coming out, uh, I'd like to uh, first recognize the elected officials that are here today. And if I miss anybody, please raise your hand if you did not sign up on the elected officials list. But I'd uh, just like to know the folks that are here. Uh, first of all, on behalf of Representative Kevin Brady is Katie Spivey. She's here today. Thank you, Katie, for being here. Charlie Riley, our commissioner for Precinct 2. Charlie, glad to see you here, sir. What a beautiful day. What a great day to be out here to cut the ribbon on this new runway. This is a tremendous, tremendous opportunity for Montgomery County, for the city of Conroe. It will enhance our opportunities for economic development. It's a perfect complement to the tech park and the industrial park that the city has done. As we continue to move forward with our customs facility, uh, Dirk Lauken with Galaxy FBO, the county and the city of Conroe are partnering together on that facility that will bring international flights to this airport. This runway is a huge, huge factor that will play into that. And just a lot of people that we need to thank for, for what's going on here today. Judy Campbell who donated some of the properties and the land that was, we were able to extend the runway. Weber LLC, the contractor that built the project, done a great job. Plots Engineering, who was the design contractor on the project. Brad, glad to have you. Our Airport Advisory Board, all of our uh, Airport Advisory Board members, if you're here with us today, please raise your hand so we can recognize you. These guys have done a great job in bringing this airport a long, long way. My dad used to fly out of this airport in the early 50s, and he said that but for the fact that a lot of people believed that flying was for Buck Rogers, we could have been Houston Intercontinental. But, but our airport advisory board has brought us a long way. And just look around you today at the tower that's here, at this extension of this runway. We have TxDOT to thank as a partner for so much of that. They've been a great partner in mobility for us in our first pass-through program. They've been a great prop partner for us in, the, in our Prop 1 funds that are now available many many road projects and now on the aviation end in this runway extension and our tower construction uh, today we really can't thank you enough i know he's going to be up here to speak in just a minute thank you so much TechStop, for being a great great partner for the county now we also have to thank our airport director mr scott smith and scott has done a tremendous job for a very long time i think he deserves a big hand for his Scott's been very instrumental in this. This project is about a $17 million project, and over the last 12 years, there's been over $30 million invested in this airport. That's something we can all be very, very proud of. I know Commissioner Mike Metter. Commissioner, where are you? Just, let's give Commissioner Metter a big hand. He's had a, 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 a great job for a very long time. I think he's going to have a few words to share here in a minute, but I just thank you for the opportunity to be with you today. I'm excited about this ribbon cutting. I'm excited about the growth that's going on here in Montgomery County and just proud as I can be to be a part of this airport ceremony today. So, Scott, with that, thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you, Judge Doyle. We sure appreciate your longtime support of the airport and your current support, and thank you very much. I'd like to invite uh, Commissioner Mike Metter, Precinct 1. To come up for some remarks, and I've got to say, uh, an airport director could not have better bosses than this commissioner's report. I'm very appreciative. Commissioner Metter. Thank you, Scott. Uh, Lord, I hate to speak after Judge Dole gets through. It's tough to follow that guy. Uh, plus, he said just about everything that I wanted to say, I think. But uh, we, we, we do... You don't know how fortunate we are in Montgomery County to have uh, what we have to make something like this possible. Scott Smith, uh, the airport board, Dave Fulton with TxDOT, the list goes on and on and on, uh, a court that's been passionate and, and, and very believing in this airport. Uh, for those of you that don't know, TxDOT had approved a 7,000 foot runway the court um, had the vision to go ahead and add 500 uh, feet to it, which doesn't sound like a lot, but in airport construction, it's, it's quite a bit. So we wound up with that 7,500 7, feet. Uh, the city of Conroe, um, Dirt Alpin with Black Forest, uh, the list goes on and on and on, uh, but it's all come together. You know, we've been taking Mickey Dyson, he's had a vision for this airport for 40 years, I guess. Um, without Mickey, we probably wouldn't be here. But we've been taking steps over the years, uh, the, the control tower, 
moving 1484, uh, the construction of this runway, uh, Black Forest FBO, we're looking at a customs facility. Uh, hopefully, um, we'll be able to go out for bids, uh, hopefully in two or three months on that project. So everything that, that's, it's, it's been coming for years, and we're almost there, we're under construction to extend League Line from Highway 75 directly into the airport. We're gonna look at doing a perimeter road within the airport with the bond funds so that when you get into the airport, you can go anywhere you need to without leaving airport property. So it's just been a, been a whirlwind for me. Uh, Dave Fulton uh, became director of Textile Aviation 23 years ago, and I came the next year as commissioner up here, and Dave has been a friend for, for a long, long time. And Dave, I hope you, hope you stay a while. But he, he brought the, the aviation business in Texas up to a level that nobody ever thought could be there and his staff uh, it's just it's just been a, a wonderful relationship for me and i've been very very fortunate to be a part of it and uh, uh brad blair i think is here from clocks uh who else is here from clocks engineering they were the the engineer the design engineer on this project it, it beautiful job uh, Weber did the construction, a great job. <clears throat> I think I see Miss Miss Campbell just showed up. Uh, what a benefactor! What a what a friend of Montgomery County. Let's give her a hand. Her uh, and without her, I don't believe we'd be standing here. So it's been a very collaborative effort, and I'm very very uh, honored to have been a part of it. And um, thanks to all of you for coming out today. And what a beautiful day, what a wonderful day for Montgomery County and our airport. Thank you. Right. For uh, uh, thanking those folks who were so directly involved in this project too. And I uh, just want to recognize a couple of them. Sheree Holloway, who is our project engineer uh, on site. Thank you so much, Sheree. And our RPR is here, Noel, it's good to see you here. And all the folks at Weber that are here, um, they've been great to work with. And uh, as I introduce our next guest, I just have to mention that our one of our former airport directors is here who did a lot, and that's Mr. John Mays, and he, he's a classic car guy now. But John, thank you for coming today. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce our uh, third and final speaker, and most important, Mr. Dave Fulton from TechStop Aviation. Dave and his staff administer construction projects and funding for well over 200 airports in Texas. And they do a masterful job, so great that in the airport world, uh, Texas is a model for how to uh, invest in and develop your general aviation airports, and that's really because of Mr. Fulton. Dave. Thank you, Scott, and thank you, Commissioner Metter. Uh, this is my 40th year in this business, 17 years in, in Tennessee and 23 year, years here in Texas. And it's still exciting every time we have an opportunity to celebrate something like this. Commissioner Metter said he was a part of it. He's been a huge part since the day I arrived. He's, he's, I've never been on this airport when he wasn't here. And we really appreciate the partnership with him, the county commission, the county judge, and, and the citizens of this county making this airport what it is today. It's a, particularly exciting to me because this is a huge step. Uh, you know, Governor Perry used to have say, and I have the greatest respect for former Governor Rick Perry, he used to say he has the best job in Texas, and with no disrespect to him, I think I have the best job in Texas. Uh, to celebrate things like this, to work with communities who really understand and appreciate what an airport like this can do, both for transportation and economic development. But to move up to this level, uh, thanks to also to Galaxy Aviation and DIRT, this airport will soon be the airport, in my mind, the airport of choice for corporate business aviation, certainly in the North Houston area, if not the whole, whole Houston area. Um, you know, there's been a lot of money put in this airport and in this project, but I'm absolutely confident that it will be repaid many times over in 
economic development and jobs for the people of the county. But nothing ever happens if the citizens aren't behind it as well. And I, uh, I re appreciate everything of the support that every one of you has uh, been consistent. It isn't this. It isn't true in every location. This county has always been absolutely consistently behind this airport and had the vision to know where to go and how to get there. Uh, most of the people have been mentioned, and so I won't repeat their names other than thanks Judge Doral and uh, former Judge uh, County Judge Sadler, uh, former Commissioners Reinhardt and Chance, Howard Kravatz, and Mickey Dyson, and the other members of the Airport Board. And I want to give a special thanks to Miss Judy Campbell. Usually, for projects like this, the hardest part is getting the land to do the project and Ms. Campbell gave this land to the county, and I think that's wonderful. <laughs> the, the last person uh, I want to recognize uh, is Scott Smith. Scott is, is by, absolutely one of the best airport managers in, in the state. I, I was talking with him earlier and, and said, uh, I hope you're going to stay around for longer. Uh, I certainly have no plans of retiring, and I hope he doesn't either. And I do want to thank, uh, I won't reintroduce uh, my staff who are here today, but they're the people who do all the work. I get these opportunities. They run the day-to-day -day operation of Textile Aviation, and they've really made it what it is today. So it's a privilege to be here. Um, you should really be proud of what you accomplished today. And uh, this airport has only just begun. Thank you. Mm, thank you, Commissioner Matter and Judge Doyle. We are about ready to cut the ribbon, but first, we have a gift in the airport from um, Vicki Crossan gave this to me from the 99s, I believe. Vicki, is it from the 99s? Are you close by? Over here. Ah, there you are. Okay, I'm gonna. She asked that I would open this right now before we cut the ribbon, so I'm gonna do so. And it's, it's wrapped in a. Uh, instrument approach chart for a pilot, so that's that's pretty good. I hope it's expired. Let's see what, what we have here. As the grandkids say Christmas, Papa. We don't want to litter this beautiful runway. Oh my God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the new airport diagram showing our runway extension. That's in 3D. That's in 3D. And it's in 3D. Thank you so much. I'm going to put it up here for display uh, so folks can come by and take a look at it. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to invite our